Oh, um, last night, um, me and Lynn watched a film called The The Nest for 2020. It's on Netflix. I liked it. Uh, some people are saying Lynn and I. Oh, no, this is um, casual, casual speaking. You'll notice, for example, Jazz, you said Lynn without a capital L. So you got that wrong, and you also didn't put a full stop in. And I, you've done not as a capital. It's kind of like colloquial and casual sort of speaking. So what? Well, also think the same thing when you hear me saying mainland. In terms of the grammar, that is, I don't mean just if I start saying mean line goes, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, what you fucking watched. Um, watched um, The Nest, and it was something sort of wee bit um, foreboding and sort of creepy about it, but it's no a horror or anything like that. It's a kind of... It, I liked it. We thought it was something to do with maybe a creepy house or something like that, but it's, it's no, really. But I liked it. It's the same guy that somebody told me on Twitter later. By the way, I'm going to catch up with the thank yous. It's the same guy who done that Mary, Martha, Macy, Marcy, Lou, Marie, Mary thingy. The cult. The cult one. The kind of sort of um, fucking, what's his name? Charles Manson sort of cult kind of film. Martha May... What's it called? It's called Martha Marcy May Marlene. And it's got... What's her name in it? Elizabeth Olsen. So first first time I saw her before the whole um, Marvel stuff. I watched that when it came out. I went to see that. When, when, when did that come out? 2011? January 2011 it came out. It's like, like a bit of kind of like a, a cult type of thing. A cult or a, a sort of cult. Kind of Manson family type of thing. Um, and I liked it. I don't think it's got good ratings. Well, no, it's, it actually has. Um, I, I liked it and I just went, I, I watched it myself. Where was that? January, beginning of 2011. So that was... So like that was like the second series of Lemmy Show was it about then. So I was, I think, just going to watch films just during the day. So I, then fuck all, really. And it was good. Did I watch that then? I went, I went to see that in the pictures. Good. And so he's not done a film since. That was 2011 and he's done this film. He also did uh, that teleseries Southcliff. You know, the... I think it's kind of like um, the Hungerford massacre sort of thing where um, Sean, what's his name? Who's that guy, Sean? Sean, Sean Harris, aye, Sean Harris. And I'm like, I like that, I like that, and I like that. So I liked that. So the other film I've seen this year is that that new Spider-Man. No, no spoilers or anything like that. That other Spider-Man went, oh, I thought it was all right. I thought it was all right. Kind of interesting, but I wasn't a... I wasn't a pure in it. Um, kind, of, kind of a bit fucking boring. and Like like I've said before, I think I said it on Twitter or maybe I said it here. See these Marvel films when they get kind of a bit serious and a bit kind of teary and, um, you know, there's like blood and somebody's like, oh, I can't do this anymore, you know, that kind of thing. That's when I sort of tune it because I'm, I don't really care that much. I mean, I'm there for a laugh. I'm not just like, I'm sorry, but I don't see any depth in these characters whatsoever. Don't start getting all fucking teary because I don't care. I'm not like that. But I prefer it when they're being a bit funny. See, like, see the, the, the Avengers films when it started getting towards the like, end game. What was it? Was it end game and then there was one after it? Or was that the last one of that? No. 
Um, ban karate kicking, please. Any spoilers, ban immediately, right away. Because they're here to upset everybody. That's the purpose of spoilers, to piss everybody off. It's a ban and they don't come back. They don't come back. You know, it's not like a giggle. It's like you just ruined the film for your own amusement. Um, I take spoilers very seriously. But I, like, what was it? Um... Because I'm, I'm, I'm actually really into film. Really into film. That's what I like about Thor Ragnarok. Um, somebody said, I like Endgame or something. It's all getting all fucking serious and like nobody's cracking as many jokes anymore. As many jokes, I'm just like, I don't, I don't care about, I don't pure care about, like, you know, everybody like that. Like that, it's fucking Marvel. Too many jokes in Endgame 2. I've not watched Cobra Kai, I, I might be a bit, I don't think I would like it. Um, Next film I want to actually watch is, and I saw it on, um, I saw it on fucking Gogglebox, is a, a new James Bond one, No Time to Die. And James Bond films, there's always something I like about them and a lot that I don't. A lot that I'm bored by. You know, like I watch and I go, I a fuck. But it just showed this chase, it just showed this chase through this kind of old town sort of thing. Motors, motorbikes and jumping up this. and I thought, oh, I like that, I like that, I like that. Because I just after, just after watching the whole Spider, the Spider-Man film, and there's a lot of action stuff and it's all fucking camera moving about and you don't know who's fucking hitting who and it's all shit. And the motorbike thing, I was like, oh, I like that. He's swinging here, there and it's sort of jumping right here, this fucking wall or that. I thought, I like that. I like seeing big things like that. The rest, it's just, it looks more real. Um, so I'm going to, going to watch that and there's some other things. But it'll be fucking boring. I want to give two fucks about it. Somebody said, some some film guy, who was it? A guy who recently made some film, an arty film. Is it that licorice pizza? That kind of new arty kind of film. I He said he likes, um, he liked the new, um, what's the fucking name of the thing? Uh, Venom, let there be carnage. He said he liked it. He said it kind of like, which is a bit licorice. I don't know, licorice. I normally say licorice, but I'm like, why is licorice? Why is I C E ish? I've actually been saying it wrong. He said he he liked it um, to kind of almost counter the whole trend of like directors and interviews going like, oh, Marvel films are they real films and this isn't real films and this isn't you know that sort of thing. Um, he said, I liked, I liked it. And he said one thing he liked about it a lot was um, that it was short. That it was like 90 minutes long. Because I remember watching it and it was like, it's like 90 minutes. I'm like, is that, is that really how fucking, you know, 80, like 87 minutes or something? I'm like, what? You're just used to these films being like fucking two hours and a quarter, two and a half hours. Um, I think 90 minutes is perfect. 90 minutes is perfect. But also like big long things, like um, good, the bad, and ugly, and all the all the sorts of big long as fuck ones. If you've got the time, was it that into that new Venom one? Was it pure into it? I was they pure into it? 